What is up with the dragons? Back at you, back at back with another Skyrim video again. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to complete the, how to fix the, um, what's the bug? The Temple of Mirak bug. Because, well, people have asked what I should do about what you, well, how I encountered the bug and how I fixed it. Because, um, yeah, as I pointed out, I uploaded the video, I think it was a month ago, explaining how um, I got stuck in Mirax realm or apocryphy, whatever you call it, I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically you're gonna need two things. So let me just go to my mods. So in order to fix this bug, you need one of the mods installed. This is only if you haven't got, you're not playing vanilla, but you need to have this mod installed in order for it to work. So I'm gonna show you right now once after this is loaded. Give it a second. Ignore what the other mods I've got because they're just because I'm just playing the user mellow because I know nothing bad enough. But the mod you need, as I'm going to show you now, this mod you need immediately. It's Audion's Ultima Armory. You need this mod most definitely on enabled. So to get this mod, all you do is if I just uh, just save my quick save my game quickly right there. So ignore my vocals and everything, but anyways. So what you do is you go to, so go to, so yeah, you need Aldeon's, Aldon's Ultimate Armory, basically, in order to do this and complete this um, thing. So if you go to mods, or even show to which mod you need, so I'll just ignore all this, but you know. Yeah, I'm just checking my mic's all good. Okay, the spider coming by, I'm not bothered about you, you can go away. I don't like spiders. <laughs> My footage being recorded. Yeah, it is. Right. So, after this is loaded, because it's taking the mic. I don't know why, but okay. So, if you type in search, you want to type in Audion's. Audion. So, if you just type that in. No, actually. Just type in Ultimate Armory. You spell um, Marie. Okay, so if you get this mod, Aldon's Aldeon's Ultimate Armory. If you get this mod, you only need this mod in order to get to fix the quest. So if you get this mod, and you've got once you've got that installed, we're going to head back to our save that I've quick saved. So if I go back to this save right now, yeah, okay, we're just going to load this back up this save. So if we load into save, you'll get this thing called the Avoid Armory, which will basically, if you've got fast travel on it, but you'll be able to fast travel to it. And um, yeah, so if we get fast travel, you'll be able to go to this place, Avoid Armory. Ignore the mods, these are just, I recommend this mod if you like magic, by the way, the Fendrix Magic Evolved, but I don't know. Anyways, so you've got the Void Armory, which is from this, which is from Eldian's Ultimate Armory. So you go into here. So we, let's go into here, it's the Void is called. Make sure you've got some cash on you. There is there is some free cash, I think, in the cheat room over there, but I'm not going to, I'll just show it quickly. If you just want to get loads of cash, I'll just quickly show you this room. Because this mod, I do love it, because you've got loads of NPCs and everything, but anyways, so if you come in here... Again, these these blimmin' guys are really overpowered, I don't know why, I don't know why he's turned into a werewolf for, but I don't know. So if you just take some money out of you like this, I don't know, just... Because you're gonna need a lot of money, it's, the black books are quite expensive to buy, so you're gonna have to be required to buy the, the black books. So what you want to do is, is you want to go into here. So it's this way over here. And you want to go either, well, it's, you can either go the other way, which I'm not going to show you, but this is the quick way. You want to go into Armory and Supply Shipments. And you want to speak to one of these NPCs over here, which is like either this guy, Yuven, or Zor. I just speak to Yuven because he's nearer. Take a look. And then we just go to, I think it's in here. Is it this guy? No, it's not. It's Zor. All right, then. You want to speak to Zor, I think. Take a look. Is it Zor? Yeah, it is. So basically, you want to buy this book. Um, this one as well, and you also want to buy this one because these basically fix the glitch. So you want to buy those. Don't worry about any of these. Just buy those ones. You can buy these ones, but the only ones I recommend buying is I would recommend buying this one 
and this one. I've already got two of those twice because I don't know, but I'm just going to sell one of them. So you want this one as well, the Black Book, the Apostasy Okumen as well, and the Waking Dreams book, which basically it ignores the Temple of Mirak one. And what you want to do Until is you want to exit out of here. Then let me just change my swords because I think my swords are glitching out. Excuse my bloody overpowered stuff. I don't even know where I got all this from, but anyways, let me just put my. Uh... I'm getting a bit distracted here. Excuse me for don't. I'll just put one of these on. Right there we go. Right, so if you head this way, through this door to the void teleportation room, and just to show you that this glitch has been fixed. There's these uh, these apocryphy prom remains. I just wanted to also point out there's also a note here that if you install this mod, it does break like, yeah. So as you can see, it breaks the um, some quests and all that. That's basically what caused it, but it fixes this. It fixes all the issues you've got with the Temple of Mirak quest. So basically what you do is you want to go into here and this will basically let you into the realm and it will, it will basically ignore if it lets you in here, so okay, you're already in here now, yeah, good. Right, so what you want to do is you want to exit back to the void teleportation room after being in here. Then I think, I don't know which one it is, but you want to basically, because you're going to have to encounter Normia more. I can't say the name, I think it's this one. It's either this one or the third one. Yeah, it's the second one. So if you go to the second one and you and you encounter this, you'll be basically have the cutscene where you're talking to Normius Muria, but I've already done it because it's showing it. But I would show it, but it's gonna have to go have to go back to another side. But you want to talk to this guy, and it, this book will open, and you'll have him talk to you and everything about learning the next word bend well. And I think I've already got that thing already. No, I haven't. But I will show you also where you can get the bend well um, thing as well. So if you, okay, so once you've been in there, you now want to go, there's a quicker way you could either do this. You can either go to, use the teleportation to get to Solstein from here, or you can just fast travel to Solstein, which I just tend to do. So I'm already in Solstein right now, as you can see. So, cause I've already fast traveled this. So if I find the door to Solstein right now, where is it? The door to Solstheim. I cannot find it. Uh, so yeah, if you want to just enter to Solstheim right now. And then, okay, so we're, go we're here right now in Solstheim. What we want to do is, is we want to find the, we want to find one of the, um, one of the, the dragon uh, spawning locations for the Bendwill shout. So I presume it's up here somewhere. So if we go to here, it's going to take a bit of time for us to get there, but I'm just going to fast travel to the Temple of Murak because it's faster and it's nearer. Right, my game might crash, but okay. Ignore my uh, my my allies, they're just from a mod I've got installed. Right, so we want to head over to here. If it lets me, of course. Without crashing. So we want to find the... Um, the the dragon's nest, not the altar, not this altar, but like it's a dragon, it's the dragon's nest wherever the bend wheel wall is. If you've not done that already, if you've already got that bend wheel shout unlocked, then you can just you don't have to do this part. But I'm going to show it to those who haven't got this. So this part, you just want to come up here, or if you've already got the thing on the map, so we've already can see the um, we can see the dragon icon at the top here. I'm just going to use an overpowered, um, overpowered whatever thing, overpowered weapon. I'm just going to get rid of this guy, but let me just get this thing. Ignore this. I don't even know where I got this from, this bloody weapon, but yeah, I got it off somewhere. Right, let me just... Where are you? You piece of crap. Where are you, you reclaim warrior? You are so ugly looking. You're going to... Um, yeah, I'm going to put the damage on, because these are... This is from the Eldian mod. I've got installed this Void Armory mod, but I'm going to have to deal with these guys quickly. What the hell are you... Oh. You are just annoying, aren't you? That's why I like this thing, because it's like a nuke. What the hell? Go away. Ugly. Where the... Bugaro, what the frick? You are so ugly. 
just gonna get rid of all these guys because they're really annoying. Okay, they're dead. Right, that's dead. Now where's the, where's the dragon's nest? Over here, the dragon's spawning location. It's over this way. The hell? <laughs> I wonder what that noise was then. Right, so it's past um, whatever this cave is. It's past who runs Barrow. Bar Barrow. I wonder what that was then. Right, so if we come up to this location here, it will show what it's called in a minute. It will. Where did you come from? If you want some, if you want some free DJ Karma, there's. I think this guy's got DJ Karma now. If you want to dream DJ Heart, there's a free DJ Heart there. If anyone wants it, so it's this location. So, if we come to this location over here, I'm just going to get on this overpowered weapon, the Cure Beam, because it's just going to one-shot the dragon and make it so much easier. Right. So, once you come over to Siren's Watch, you'll have a word wall here, where this is where the Bend Will shout will be. I'm just going to deal with this dragon quickly. Right, so this is where we get the bend wheel shout right here. So if we just stand in here and just get the bend wheel shout unlocked, there we go. Earth bend wheel. I think there's um right. So I've because I've because we've got both of them already unlocked. I don't know where you got the third one from, but I've got them already unlocked, so. Right, so if I use my Dragon Souls to unlock those, we've got both of those Oof. now. Now what we're going to need to do, once I've dealt with this bloody god, this bloody Druga Lord, wherever he is. And this Druga really is annoying. I need to just deal, let me just deal with this guy and then we are going to go on our front way. Where is he? So we're at Siren's Watch right now. We've just got the Ben Wheel shout to kill you because you're pathetic. You rotten little... How do you think you're doing? Blowing bloody Rudar at me, huh? Getting nuked. Right, sorry about that. That's that done what we are now. Okay, good. So, we've completed that. Now, all we do is, is we go to Skull Village from here. We go to Skull Village. I don't know how you pronounce the name, but all we do is, is we've got to find one. So, this, okay, so... So Scorn is sat here. No, Scorn's over. Where's Scorn? Scorn is sat here. My strength falters. We do not have much time. May darkness never touch. So if you speak to home, if you, if you speak to Scorn Storm like this, you should be sat here like this. But you don't want to speak to him just yet. What you want to do is is you want to come over to the stone over here. I think it's the windstone. You want to go over to the windstone, which is over here. So if you, if you, as long as you can speak to him like that, or if it's just a d different dialogue where he hasn't, he isn't speakable, he's just saying, "Oh, I must concentrate." Blah blah blah. Barrier, whatever. You want to come over to the windstone over here, and you want to, if I can get up to it, you want to basically use the bend wheel shout on it. And I can't because this bloody water's in the way. I'm just going to bypass this water by jumping. Right, so we're past that water, right. So this is the windstone. What you want to do is, is you want to just do this. Not that, obviously. But uh, let me just wait for that to reappear. up here. So what you want to do is you want to use Ben Wu on here. You want to do it again? Like that. And then once this has been broken like that, this uh, lurker will come out and then you want to just kill him. Just kill him quickly. I will explain what that charm is that I've got, by the way, at some point. Right, anyway. So we've got the... We've just cleared the stone. Once we've done that, we want to go back to Skull Village and we want to talk to Storm. That's what we want to do. We want to talk to Storm. And from there onwards, that's what we're going to need to do. So if I just fast travel to there now. So we go to Storm. We speak to Storm Craig Strider. I forgot what his name is. So we speak to him right now. And I'll just be quiet because it will play the uh, audio, the cutscene. You have prevailed. I can feel it. 
this, so you want to talk to him and you'll get these dialogues on him once you've done all those steps I explained to do. It would seem so. And you are to thank for it. We already owe you much. But I must ask you for one more thing. Freya, my daughter, went to seek out the source of these dark magics. She traveled to the old temple at the center of the island. I did not wish her to risk herself, and I worry for her safety. But of course we've already saved her, so yeah. If you could find her and see that she is safe, I would be grateful. Hermes Mora. Old Hermamora himself. So he is the source of Mirax. So you want to speak to him about this, basically? Of course. We have many tales of Hermamora trying to trick us into keeping up our secrets. The hell? And now he Let comes he again for what we have long kept from him. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. With Mirak's corruption of the stones, the oneness of the land is disrupted, and our connection to the old maker is broken. It may. It should. And I will think on what you ask of me to decide if it is necessary, or just another of Hermamora's tricks. The land is up. No, I am still too. You must cleanse the other stones so that I can draw power from you. So basically, like I said, we've got to cleanse the other stones. So as long as you've got the other stones on the map, like I've got, you'll find this easier. But if you haven't, you'll have to go around all of Solstheim to find all the stones. So what we want to do is, is we want to we want to cleanse the other stones. We've already cleansed the Wind Stone, so you want to do the Sun Stone and the Earth Stone and the Beast Stone, and that's basically all it is really. So if we do the Sun Stone first, because I've got a fast travel fast travel on the map, so like we did to the other stone, we want to do the same using the Bend Wheel Shout again, just the first one like this. You want to do it again? And then once that's cracked, the Lurker will come out and you want to kill the Lurker. And you want to do the same to the other ones as well. Right, so that's now complete. He's killed. So right, if we go to the Earth Stone, which is in uh, Raven Rock, I presume there's another stone over in the distance. I'm not too sure, but let's just go to the, um, let's just go to Holdoff's house. If you know where this place is, you'll know what I'm on about. Is there any more stones nearby? I'm not too sure. Let me just, let's go to uh, Raven Rock and see if there's any stones nearby in here. I am very sorry for this video being very lengthy, guys, but it's a very good You've one because... Oh, I don't care, Captain Day left. Go away, you're so pathetic. I'm gonna kill every single one of you. Because you're in my way. Get out. Jump off your head. Man, these guys really are annoying. Just kill all these guys. So you get for having a bounty on you, I guess, but I don't know. Right, moving on, I'm just gonna ignore those guys and pretend like nothing just happened. Get in. Just kill this guy because oh, she's annoying me. Right, so if we use the the bend wheel shout again on this guy once more. You want to do it at least three times because it basically um, it got through the lurker. It does. The lurker's risen. To so kill this lurker vindicator again. Where did that guy come from? I don't know 
why another lurker spawned in for? Right, that lurker's been killed, and there's another enemy over here. It's but T bloody Reaver. Oh my god, go away. Right, that's done. Right, so if we go to um, Nutridor, you don't need to go here, but if you've got it on the map, just, just ignore it, because you do not need to enter it. You've skipped the part where you have to enter it. So, this is how we do it. So there should be another stone round here, I think. If we've already done it, we've done the sunstone. So unless we should be able to go to Skull Village and check on me and check on um, Thingy now. Let's see if we can actually use learn the, the last word, the bend whale shout now. Storm must be able to let us now. The land is no. You must cleanse the other stones. So there's other stones to be cleansed. So if we go to Searing's Watch again. Because there's more stones to cleanse, there is. Where's the other stones? There's, I think it's the beast stone. Have we done the beast stone? We've done the earth stone. Done the earth stone. Done the sun stone. Done the wind stone. I forgot where the beast stone was. I think it's not the altar of the, to of the fr what, throne, whatever it's called. I'm not sure where the beast stone is. We've got to do the beast stone. The beast stone is over that way. There we go. It's over there. So if we go to the, so as long as we cleanse all the stones, we can successfully get Storm to yeah progress on with the next quest, pro pro progress into the Garden of the Men quest. Right. So if we go up here, right by the uh, Temple of Murak is where the beast stone is. I presume it's the beast stone. I think. Is the Beast Stone? I think it is. Bear in mind this is on the PS5 version I am playing on by the way. This will work on all both versions, not Nintendo Switch because Nintendo Switch doesn't have mods. Right, so the Beast Stone is discovered. Let me just kill these guys. So if we use this again, Bend Will. Use it again. Right. Now let's kill this Ascendant Cultist. Go away, pathetic thing. Kill this this vindicator. Right, that's done. Let's see what loot he's got on him. Some oh, I don't guess some some shit that I don't even need. But I oh, don't know. Right, so we've got the beast. We've got all the stones cleansed now. All stones are cleansed. Now we talk to Skull. We talk to Storm at Skull Village. Return to Scorn Village, and we talk to Storm again. What on earth is going on over here? What on earth is going on? What on earth is going on? Like, I don't even know what's happening. Storm, where are you? Excuse me. Where is Storm gone? It's been many winters since my husband returned to the army. Where is Storm gone? Where is he? There he is, right there. So if we wait for him to sit down, just to prove that he's... Because I'm not going to just... Yeah. Let's just wait for him to sit back down again. Most he's doing that, I'm just going to quickly just edit out of here. So right, we speak to him now. No. You must cleanse the other stones so that I can draw them. I've cleansed the other stones though, that's what I don't understand. I've already cleansed them all. Is there which ones have I not cleansed? Is it the moonstone? I don't think there's any more stones to cleanse. The sunstone and all that is all cleansed. Unless there's another one somewhere that I haven't cleansed yet. Wait, so let me just check on my let me just check. The old maker stones, right? So I'm just gonna quickly check on my phone which uh, stones we've not cleansed yet. So where's the? 
Oh. It's the water stone we've not done yet. If I find Fabumas, whatever that place is, so if I go this way, so, so we go this way to this bloody ah, there we go. I see now. So we've got to do all the stones, basically, not just that one. We've got to do all the stones, even though the stones, the the the, the Elmaker stones doesn't appear as a quest. You don't even have to necessarily have that appear as a quest, but you have to find this place to get to the water stone. But anyways, we cleanse the remaining stones. That means all of them. And then we can progress on to the quest once we complete all the stones and done that all. This is, this is taking me like so long to do. <laughs> I would use the speed boost, but it will crash the game. I don't want this. I don't want to crash the game, so, right. So if we just go this way, it's the water stone. Yes, it is. And what are you doing here? Whack you to pieces. We just recharge that because that, you yeah. I don't know. Right, so use the Elmaker, the Elmaker thing, the bend wheel shell. Use it again. Right, the lurker's back again. Right, so that's the stone complete. Now let's go to check at Skull Village if that's the all the ones done. That's no, is there an enemy nearby? Oh, are you just gonna? Is that a dragon? Is that Mirax dragon? Wait, where the hell did he come from? A dragon just pops out of nowhere. Let me just deal with this guy before he just ruins my game, mate. I don't know where you came from. Yeah, I'll just one-shot you with the kill beam and just get killed and go away. We're already late. Not sure why we decided. Let me just go rid of him. I've just killed him. Then we can go to Skull Village. Now, I think we should be able to talk to him now. You have prevailed. I can feel it. The tree stone is still corrupted. The land is See, still we've, as long as we do those ones, we've got it all complete and we can now... We can now speak to... to um, thing. Let me just put this away so we can do it again. The tree stone is still corrupted. So we've done all the stones the that are needed, I mean, just we now need to talk to him now. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. Yes. The skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Herma Mora finally wins. Also, and you will not be able to face Mirak in this because Mirak is glitched for some reason, so this is just in case you wanted to get the dragon ride in an emerald, which I think is a good thing, better than facing Mirak, because if you if you go into the realm with Mirak, then you're going to have the dragon swords gotten rid of, but this is the better way to do it, so, yeah. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. That is my oh, Storm, you have regretted doing something. I am so sorry, Storm, for doing this. I am very sorry, my friend. You must not do this. Dawn, you're not going to do that, are you? Storm, don't tell me you're going to do that. Please tell me you're not going to do what I think you're going to do. Do not fear for me, my daughter. 
This is the destiny. I wonder, because we got the way. Storm, you was a good character, buddy. Good luck, Storm. Please don't die. You're a good character. Oh no. Up their secrets to me. Just to commit another Father, life. What have you done? <sighs> I am so sorry for no. you. My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then, kill Mirak. Do not fail. And that, my friends, is now we can do. We have now completed the quest and got the bend wheel shell. So I will show you that, okay, so basically what we need now is we need to get that unlocked. And I will show you that it actually in fact does work on a dragon. So if I go back to, to Skyrim right now, that is, the, that is those are the steps complete. I will show you that this does work on any Captain dragon. So if I just spawn a dragon, so we've completed that, so as you can see we've completed that already. We've got all the bacon dreams. You don't, if you don't want to do that, which I would not recommend doing because it doesn't seem to work for me. But if I go to, if I find, let's just find a random dragon somewhere that I've got on a bloody uh, place. Right. I'm going to go to Dragon Tooth Crater, whatever it's called. Right, we'll see. And there should be a dragon that spawns here. There's a dragon right here. Where is he? Oh, go away! Right, so if we go in here... This actually does work, by the way. So you've now got Bend Wheel unlocked, and you can now do Dragon Riding, and everything. And yeah. I will also show you that this does not work for Murak's quest, for some weird reason. Right, let's just go to... Um can I go to Solstein with this? No, I can't. Right, I'm just going to go to um, here and get off the dragon and then we'll go to Solstein and we'll go to the Temple of Murak, which I'm going to have to fight my way through again. Right, so this, if you don't want to see this part, then you don't have to, but I'm just going to land yes, here. Well, good. I will land at once. This video has been so long to make, I just don't know why it would take that long. I will, I will also quickly show you what this um, enchantment is I've got by going on to one of my other saves in a minute. So... Okay, I can't do anything because enemies are nearby, but I don't know. Let me just go this way. Where the... Where the hell are you all coming from? What the... Just leave me alone, enemies. Oh my god, right, I'm gonna fast travel to Windhelm quickly. Before the enemies come back. Right, we're gonna go to Windhelm. Oh, I'm really, I'm just gonna go to, yeah, let, let's just go to, uh, Solstheim. 
because I want to also show you that this does not, might not work for Murak for some weird reason. But what you want to do is you want to make sure you do those steps with Apocryphy and that shit. Right, we're at um, here now. Where the hell are you? Wait, if I go this way, can I go to the Temple of Mirak? No, I can't, because apparently enemies are nearby. Why is there an enemy over here? What is even here? What the hell is over here? Go! I don't even know what's here. Oh, for frick's sake. I just... What is it that it's... Okay, so now it disappears. Well, that, that's really buggy. But anyways, moving on. Right, to, to, to Temple of Mirak we go. I don't know what's happened, what goes on here, because I've never done this part before, but for some weird reason, they still can't cleanse the, the tree stone over here. I might be able to dis, dispense, dispose of it. Back into the Temple of Mirak. Am I going around the wrong way? Shit, I am. Excuse my language. I'm going around the wrong way. Alright. Excuse the rain and the fun and the snow, it's because I've got, as like I say, I've got a lot of mods that change stuff. Go away, you stupid cultist, man, you're so annoying. So let's go inside the Temple of Murak then. Right, we just go down here, we'll go back all the way through like we did the last time when I did it on stream, I think. Right, so if we go all the way down here, all the way through, just ignore all the stuff. We can get all the loot if you want to, and just avoid all the traps if possible. I'm just going to close this door so these bloody NPCs don't keep following me. Close that up, right. If we go down here... I am. I have got a mod which gives me insane HP, which I'm not going to explain why. But I will show you this enchantment at the end as well. If anyone is curious what this enchantment is that I've got, because <laughs> it is really overpowered. And I love this enchantment very much. It kills anything. And this kill beam you can get with the armory, the void armory mod as well. She saw my dude. Traps are everywhere. So if we go to the Temple of Murak, which we're in, we go to the Sanctum. As you can see, the Bend Wheel Shout did work on a dragon, and we can obey it, but I don't think it's going to let me defeat Murak. That's the only problem. Alright, so if we keep on going, straight through here. Alright, I've got blooming whatever that guy is. Mm hmm Right, so if we go down here... There's all the traps everywhere, they do drive me nuts. Creep me out as well. Right, so if we go down here... All the way over here, past the traps... So down here again... What are you doing here? I killed you, so why are you back up again? Just kill you. So close these doors. There we go. Right, so if we go this way, round here, back through that secret passageway, which I think is over here. Right, past here. Down here, I'm just going to drop down here. Alright, so we go through here. Just going to drop down here again. Through here. All the way down to the room where the black book is. And it should let you essentially go inside the realm now. If it doesn't, then you don't have to do this part. You can just enjoy the dragon rider and ignore 
uh, Murak, which I probably most likely would recommend doing because I really haven't been bothered about Murak. Because if you do decide to kill him, if you can, I'm not sure what happens. But if you're not bothered about this part, just just you don't have to watch this part of the video. This part is only for those who want to uh, defeat Murak if it's possible. Right, so we just go and use this book again. So if we just use this book, which it should let us go through. Right, so as you can see, it's the bug is still there, where we can't move, but at least we've got the bend wheel shout. So we can, the bug is still there, where you kind of got stuck in the Mirax realm, but you've got the bend wheel shout luckily so we don't have to do that part so we can skip that part so let me just go back to one of my saves my old saves one of my old ones let me just find it where is it uh, which one is it right if I go into this one I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure it's this save, my six level 65 one. If not, then I'm not sure which one it is, but anyways, I think this should be the right one because I'm a naked character. Have I got that Sword of Flenning on? Yeah, I've got, I haven't got the Sword of Flenning on, right. Let me just put some ammo, some bloody clothes on my character if I can. No, I haven't got any ammo clothes on. I'm just gonna quickly steal some armor off one of the NPCs or from one of the armory places, I don't know. Uh, let me just steal some armor, because it's- oh my god, fucking whatever Bob Ittles after me. Leave me alone, you bloody bitch. God, she's a bloody annoying. She'll just one-shot me, watch. I need to put some bloody armor on. Let me just- have I got the armor on? No. Right, if I put some armor on. This place you can cheat and just get like as much armor as you want from here, so... I just put some random armor on. I'm just gonna put some Diedrich armor on. And get this, make this quick. Um, I need a helmet. Just find that. I do not, I don't care about the gunlets. I'm just gonna choose some random gunlets because I don't know why, but anyways. Right, so if I just put this on because I do not like seeing my character naked. I'm not gonna worry about the boots either. Right, so if I just go, so, okay, so. This kill beam you can get off one of the NPCs, but to get this that sword that explodes, I think you go into this chest over here, and you've got the sword of Flenin. So this basically, if I spawn, you, there is spawn stats in the area, but right. So if I just find this, I spawn a creature in using this spawn staff, and this sword basically has a nuke on it, and it will do damage to you if you haven't got like HP like I've got. Because uh, I've only got, yeah, because I've got 3 million arm goods because I've got the god mode ring on. So if you just whack this guy, if I just uh, make sure the damage is high, there's also a damage output there as well. So if you do this, it whacks him like that. And what's good about this sword is you can also put it on the enchantments if I can't, because apparently I've killed someone and I'm in combat, so I don't know what's up. Let me just use a table, please. Right, I can't even do it because I've got to go bloody go back and get my bloody thing. Right, so if I just... <sighs> Where, which place has a bloody enchantment table? I don't bloody know. Uh, Mia Watch has one. Let's just go into Mia Watch and just quickly... Bloody moth, go away. <laughs> this video is so long, I don't know how long it's going to take to process, hopefully. See, this guy, let me just... You oblivion. I'll be heading home there. Go away, Agronian. I'm just gonna go inside here before I get killed by a bloody fucking whatever that thing is. Right, so if I found the enchantment table just upstairs or any enchantment table, I'm just using my watch because it's just because I want to get this quick and dusted. Right, so if you come up to the Ink Arcane Enchanter right now, you can basically use this sword and um, what's it called? Sword of Flattening. If you whack through that, you can, um, yeah. Now, if I just choose one of this weapon, this it's a random weapon I found, so you've now got the explosive effect weapon, so if I put that on, I put any soul gem will work really, but it's, I'd recommend a black soul gem as, it purses, as the gauge is much better, so if I spawn one of these creatures in again, uh, where is that? There we go, it's up here. 
So if I put this on again, I will show you that it does work. So let's spawn two of these. Right, so if I spawn this guy in and attacker, it will do that. And it will it does also one shot any other thing in the distance, so spawn another one of those and one of you. It will like this thing it kills anything, so it's really good, this enchantment is. And it's called it's called explosive effect, but it will do self damage on you if you haven't got HP up, and it will one shot you or potentially kill you. So um, yeah, and to get so like I said, to get the sword, you just go into okay. Where what is over there? Is that, what is that thing? That's disgusting. I'm just gonna get out of here and go back to here if I can. Shit, because that bloody thing is over there. That disgusting creature. I'm just gonna get rid of you. Get lost your chorus reaper, you're so disgusting looking. Ugly thing. Uh, don't worry about the dragons I spawned in. They're just there because I spawned with the spawn stuff. Right, so if I show you in here. Right, so if I go back to the armory. So I'll recap again to double check if people haven't known about this. My video footage is going to probably end in a minute because it's reaching the limit of 15 minutes, but I don't know. This might not load. Okay, it's loaded. Okay. So, if you want Kill Beam, for example, so the so we know the so if I just show you where Kill Beam is, as well, which is that one shot stuff. If anyone wants it to just get rid of any dragons that spawn in, I will show you it quickly as well. So if you come into this cheat room over here and you speak to one of these guys, then lead on, friend. Say for example, I just want to have this if ugly ass kitty, I mean, and you trade thing with him. You can just take this thing off him, and the beam stuff. Like, yeah, I don't know what that does, but we lead just get rid of him. Then back home is where you will find me. So I've got that kitty. It's called a, It's like a one shot stuff, whatever. But okay, I will recap about the um, about where you can get the sword again. So if you head through here, through to the armory, in here, and if you go to, if, there's also some spells in here, as well. So if you go to here, it's this chest here, the weapons one. You'll see the the all sorts of stuff in here, overpowered stuff. But the one that was in here is the is the sword of war warning, I think it is. If you put that sword on and you and use the enchantment on it, you'll have the new enchantment, which will basically be this. It's this thing. And again, that's the enchantment, and it's really overpowered. I really recommend it. It's really epic. So, and about the staffs as well. I will in that same room. It's in the great. It's in the brown chest, though. So I'm going to show you again. This is the final time as well before I end the video as well. So if we come back through here again. go to the cheat room and we go to this chest it's like so it's this chest that has the damage so the damage output is also in here as well the damage cheat and the uh, god mode and whatever but the spawn staffs are also in here so the dragon the creature the assassin and the vampire i've got already but you'll get all sorts of stuff in here so these you can just use to spawn and the npc arrows visible everything so yeah and in the cheat chest, you've got all the spells. So if you want to just cheat a game, I don't know, it's up to you, but yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this um, video and this should be helpful, hopefully, to you. So if you need, if you do have any suggestions or have any problems with, with the ways of how I helped, I will happily um, just comment me, just keep, put, rip, just uh, contact me in the comment section. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and yeah, peace, guys, and have a nice day.